Mr. Black making smoothies. Allie and I got the same smoothie today. What does it consist of, my love? It's a cup and a half of coconut water, four ripe bananas, and a cup and a half of triple berry blend. Mmm, is that it? That's it. That's it. That's it. Ooh, wish. Delish. Scarletta, let me see your face. Good morning. She says good morning, and it's always important to stretch once waking up. Huh, Scarlet? Good morning, guys. Woke up pretty early today to take Mr. Black to um to work. So we're gonna do that. Drop him off. Taking vitamin E pill. Got to stand out in the sun because I'm vitamin D deficient. He's got to go to work because he needs to make a living for us to, I don't know, live. Live. <laughs> but no, uh, I'm staying with the car today and get some fun filled stuff finally on the note of ovulation station, ovulation drama. Ta da! I got my like ovulation positive today. I was freaking out yesterday. I'm sure if you want to see me a uh, breakdown, that's that's all in you know <laughs> the other videos. So you guys can watch that and see why I was also stressed out and all that fun stuff. But now I'm stressed out on an entirely new different level because this is not my scheduled day. So I have to pretty much move mountains. So I can't wait. Here at Raymond's Workstead, all sorts of cars everywhere because unlike Sunday. Un uh, yeah, unlike Sunday or Saturday, whenever I came to drop him off. Uh, it'll be much more fuller when I come to actually pick him up later because I guess I don't know It's still too early for some people Goodbye, mr. Black. I love you. Bye. I'll see you later. Yes mm. Bye, baby. Bye So I'm on my way home now. I'll see you guys. I already fed the puppies because they were starving So I'll see you guys when I get home and all right, just got out of the shower and I had come home a little while ago uh, from getting my uh, second donation. Like I had said earlier today, I had ovulated and it was all sorts of fun, yay. So hopefully we can now officially start the two week like counter for baby, yay. So obviously we won't find out for like another two weeks if it's stuck or not, but we can only hope and cross our fingers and just hope and pray and just good vibes, good positive vibes, not worrying about anything. Yesterday I had kind of a little uh, breakdown and it was just very, I was very exhausted yesterday. But apparently I wasn't the only one who was exhausted. Did mommy's emotions make you exhausted yesterday? Yes. Scarlett was exhausted for me. And Quincy, Quincy, Quincy's sick and he's tired and he's, he doesn't feel good. He's got bird floosh because he won't leave the girls alone. And Vincent is tired. The control. To like play session, listen in to some music. I gotta wash some dishes now, and then I have to go pick up Raymond. But before I go pick up Raymond, I'm actually gonna go check out this new smoothie place that I saw. So I'm finally here, and I can't wait to try it out. They do Google classes as well, aside from being like a smoothie and juice bar. So I might be coming back here in the future. I got what they call the Popeye, and it is absolutely to die for. It's really good. And well, the one I got was the Popeye, which is espinacas, naranja, fresa, y plátano, but they ran out of the fresas, and if you don't know Spanish, I will translate for you. So Popeye obviously being like a sailor man, and what does Popeye eat? He eats spinach. So espinacas is spinach, naranja is orange, fresas is strawberries, E is and, and platano is bananas. I guess they do Zumba fit classes and it's either six or seven dollars for each class. And with, um, depending on which price you end up paying, you get to um, have like either a juice for I think the six dollar one or the seven dollar one is like an upgrade, which is a smoothie. I think I might be coming back to, you know, try it. They have classes every day and dude, it sounds legit. It sounds like fun. I've been wanting to do this. Maybe I can get one of my little sisters to come do it with me. At Mr. Black's work, over there where it says co-stars that's where my baby works <laughs> but uh 
anyways so I'm drinking this green smoothie which I uh, like like I said it's like spinach and stuff my only qualm with it though is that I don't think the banana that they use is quite that ripe but me and Raymond I guess are weird when it comes to that we like our bananas spotty and brown and really super sweet and this one I'm sure was nice bright and yellow and it's just not the way how we eat our bananas but it's primarily how most of the world or i wouldn't want to say most of the world because then someone's been like oh my god man all of my like family members which is like a million of them eat them like that but whatever yay mr black is finally here with me and i'm so very very happy yay. he's so very very happy where, so where are we going babe we're going to what is it called we're going to Garden Grove. We're here. Raymond's on a trek to go to the bathroom. He's like, I'm going to be so pissed if uh, I go in there and they don't have doors. Like, just a little question for everyone out there. Park bathrooms not have doors? Because sometimes ours don't. I don't know why. But look, the wild alley has spotted her prey. And it is over there. And I can't wait to eat it. I can't wait to put it in my mouth. Quietly and silently. She looks upon her feast. There weren't any doors. Mr. Black, where are we? Right, garden grill. Garden grill. Yay for my belly and my tummy. Oh, they don't have the wings. No. Oh, they have a steak taco now, though. Maybe we will get a taco. I'll have a steak taco, babe. I want one. You want one? Do you want one or no? Good uh, yeah. Hello, crispy chicken sandwich. Um, a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. And I think that's going to be it for right now. Yeah, I got the Buffalo crispy, two chicken teriyaki tacos, and the Philly cheesesteak. Oh, no, two steak tacos. Steak. Yeah. Pretty and so delicious. Oh, look at those uh, cherry tomatoes. I know, they look so oh, they, no, good. They're cute and delicious. Mr. Raymond is checking out some soaps. I think I like the ginger tea and the strawberry champagne. I like the strawberry champagne. That was one of my favorites. And then check out these cute little handmade dog-like toys and cat toys. They are to die for cute. I absolutely love them. Okay, what are these, Raymond? What am I looking Those at? Those are the steak tacos. Oh my god. And what is this? This is the buffalo chicken sandwich. Wow. And that's the Philly cheesesteak. Are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> That's literally what my first reaction was. I just been into this steak taco. OMG, you guys. OMG. Super taste. Super good. Super everything. My life is super freaking complete right now. You have no idea. It's insane. It's insane? I love this stuff. So good. Live first reaction. Oh my god. It's so good, you guys. This is a live first reaction, too. Look at him. I feel like he's about to cry. This is a man. This is the face of a man who has found his soulmate. I love it. You're gonna marry it? We're getting a divorce. OMG, you guys. I want to die. This is so freaking good. I am such a big buffalo head. I would dr I drink buffalo sauce like on the down low. Ask Raymond, huh? Uh huh. And this is amazing. It is to die for. I have not had a buffalo chicken sandwich at this in freaking years. Not all buffalo chicken sandwiches are made equal. You know, you know what? I know exactly when the last time I had a really good sandwich was, and it was back when it was like I think I might have just turned 19. And Raymond lived in these apartment complexes off of Rainbow. And we found that really little restaurant. Remember that weird restaurant with the, with the um, cannolis? Mm. Yeah, that's the last time I had a chicken sandwich is good. I remember that day because I wore, I was wearing a new white dress I bought. And some of the buffalo sauce stained the front of my new white dress. Ah. So that was when I was 19. I'm now 20 freaking five, like. Six years. So it took me six years to find a chicken sandwich that to even rival that one and this is amazing oh my god i feel like i want to go hug them i think i am going to go hug them I'm about to have a old-fashioned uh, throwdown i thought i thought raymond said that this chicken sandwich was not couldn't hold a candle to this but it is the other way around the cheese the what is that called the cheesesteak used to be my favorite thing until that came out and this you guys and it is so good this is the face 
Well, this is the, what would I say? Not face, but. This is the sandwich to rule them all. This is the sandwich to rule them all. So I just had a bite with of this uh, chili cheese. Chili cheese steak. That's what we're really? gonna call it. No, it's gonna be called the chili cheese steak. The new chili cheese steak, renamed by Ale. But um, yeah, Raymond is right. This used to be like the bomb dot com. It's been replaced. But it is yeah, it has definitely been replaced. This is my wife. She is a rare and exotic being. She is currently sunbathing because she is vitamin D deficient. And because of that deficiency, she needs to become vitamin D normal for my baby. If this isn't the cutest little cake ever, you, oh my gosh. Look at how darling these are. And then these cookies are actually vegan. They are really, really good. They're kind of on the coarse side because of the sugar, but it is amazing, you guys. You guys have got to try this. Super good. He's like, oh god, it's you. <laughs> Some more vegan treaties at our local farm farmer's market. These people are called the Little Sweet Place. Super delicious, super good. It looks amazing. These are the little coconut balls. And then Mr. Black is going to get a peanut butter, like, Rice Krispie thing. Like, peanut butter and chocolate, because we all know how much Raymond loves peanut butter. All right, Mr. Black, what are you going to eat first out of our desserties? Mm. Um. <laughs> yeah, looks can be deceiving. You'd be like, oh, like, you know, like if we were in high school, someone would be like, I'm gonna steal her lunch. Oh, never mind. That girl didn't even got a lunch box. <laughs> if only they knew. If only. Mm. Ooh, what are these? Mm, the coconut snowballs, good. right? Yeah. From Little Sweet Place. Mmm. Delicious. It's like a macaroon. Do you like it? I do. You do? I'm glad. It's very coconut and creamy. I One want time? It. Yeah. It's almost like a donut. Mmm, he's right. Oh my god. Almost <clears throat> like melt in your mouth. It yeah. is really, really good, but... It wasn't something I would expect. I expected it to be more bready. Me too. I, I expected it to be more hard. And almost kind of crunchy. Completely the opposite of what I thought, but it's really really good. I didn't see why they call these snowballs It's like literally you put it in your mouth There's like a flavor of coconut and it just like melts. It is so good and it's also Covered with little like coconut flakes. I don't know if you guys can see that if it's focusing or not But it is amazing. That's really really good. Oh, oh and then oh, Raymond just opened this. this smell it Mmm, he's gonna really love that. That's for sure. You know what it reminds me of? What it reminds mm. me of? Not a, the Nutty Bar or whatever. Do you remember Nutty Bar? I think so. It rings a bell. It was like chocolate and then wafers. Mmm, yes. Look at that peanut. Is it a vegan peanut? <laughs> oh my god. Yes. I think you'll like it actually. Okay. It's not very peanutty. It's just like, you know, it's not oh peanut my butter. Goodness. It's not peanut butter. Dude, you guys, that could be like a freaking candy bar. Like, oh my gosh. I literally feel like I just bit into mm. like a candy bar. Reminds me of a Snickers. Yes. OMG, that's exactly what that is. It is a freaking Snickers, you guys. We found a vegan Snickers. Yeah. Ooh, these cookies. We kind of cheated with these ones because we already had a sample of them. But no one cares. Mm. So these cookies are from the Baking Cup Sweet Shop, which is also another, you know, I think local thing here in town. Really delicious, really good. Ooh, the Baking Cup. Like I said with the other one, I will uh, tag their Facebooks or Instagrams or the respected uh, websites so you guys, you know, if you're either in town, if you live here, if you're coming here for vacation, you want to hit these people up, I totally 100% suggest it. We are not paid to sponsor anybody are we mr black mm -hmm. we do this of our own free accord we are guinea pigs because we like it and how is that cookie my dude <laughs> word. really good i've actually had a piece of it already mm. as a sample and i think the chocolate chips are raymond are dark chocolate 
and just with that you know that organic sugar it's just so thick and like big it just I don't know it just makes a really good like texture in your mouth look at this cookie though dude this cookie is like eat me you guys you don't have to enslave millions of chickens and then like you know torture them to get a delicious cookie this is you know dude this is amazing Scarlet, are you eating the toy? Are you guys eating the toy? You're supposed to be playing with it. Bad girls. Quincy, did you eat the toy? We're gonna end this video and then um, we're gonna head off to slumber. Um, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I hope you like or comment or especially subscribe or you can do all three. That would be great. And I hope you guys enjoyed today and we'll see you tomorrow.